my mom's from the States, my dad's from Kenya. I had kind of like, I grew up in a household that was like a hybrid of cultures. So I can, I can talk like this if I want to, but at the same time I can switch it up and talk as if I'm from Seattle as well, you know what I'm saying? I moved to the States in 93. It was right before I turned 10. We thought America was like a whole bunch of Michael Jacksons running around in like super military fits and you know looking super cool with like aviator shades on and that's what I thought America was like. I thought it was a Michael Jackson video. I met Macklemore as a freshman in high school. He was more of a provocative character than I was. I was more of like a square bear and I cared more about like girls and stuff but he was more into into like you know vices and stuff <laughs> and just due to the fact that me and Mac had more of a connection in high school he decided to call me up and he was like I'm trying to take my show to the next level um, I was like cool that's what's up that's what's up so he explained to me he's going to be rocking with a violin player and trying to add horns. I was like, all right, let's do that. My pops lives in Cairo, so Cairo for me is a place that I can go and I'm away from all distractions <clears throat> and I don't have to do anything, you know. I, I, I just wake up and I go make music and I don't have to worry about food or anything like that. But the kids I met there are super hip. You could tell they've been online, they've been like checking up on blogs and, and then jamming with them, playing with them. Uh, they're just very artistically stimulated in the Middle East right now. Uh, so recently the Nation newspaper ran a full story on me and I asked the question, who wants to, you know, who wants Macklemore to come to Kenya, right? And my Twitter feed just went off with all these people, you know, I'm super excited. I'm like, I'm so excited to bring the heist to Kenya, particularly because of the implication of like same-sex marriage, the implication of all these messages that I feel, um, particularly being Kenyan and being born there it would be nice to kind of like shift popular culture in a way and start to open up some type of dialogue along those lines because I think it's those ways of thinking that kind of hold us back 